All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this whole house water filter here, and I'm gonna kinda go through with you uh, exactly how to do so. So when you get your whole house filter, you're gonna have a mounting bracket looking something like that. Some also have a bracket that go over these and you have to tighten the fittings in. So when you tighten your fittings in, you will notice on the top it'll say in and out. So this will be the incoming water and then outgoing water. So it'll be uh, in from the tank and out to the house. So that is very important. We're going to put some, uh, we're going to tighten this up. I've got some uh, pipe dope on there. We're going to come out of this. We're going to elbow a 90 up. We're going to put a valve here. We're going to come up. We're going to mount our filter. We're going to go out of our filter, put another valve, and then we're going to T right into this line right here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our bracket all mounted. Right now it's kind of crooked. That way I could get my drill in there. I'm going to bend that back straight. That looks nice and straight. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come out of this with a pipe, bring it over till about here. We're going to elbow down to here, put a valve right here, come down, elbow into the tank. All right, so we've got our pipe coming out, our elbow coming down. And we've got it stopped right there and our stub that comes out there. So what we want to do, take a step back, we want to make sure that all of this is nice and straight. So that is sitting pretty flush. The pipe is a little crooked compared to how it comes down. So we're going to let that come over there. Okay, be about right. Right there, working on a hill here. Okay, so we line those two up, come down there and look at the elbow, and we kind of get an idea of where to cut it. So we're going to cut it right there. We're going to take our cutters. Just like that. Now this is not clamped down yet. We're going to take that. We have two clamps, one for that side, one for this side gonna fit that in and then our valve is going to go in right there and what our valve looks like is like this so the way I like to do my valves is I like to do them like that not like this point them in the flow of the water that way when you turn it off the valve handle goes that direction so that's what we're gonna do now all right we've got our two pipes cut just far enough for the spacing in between We've got our clamp on the bottom. We're gonna push this on, give it a little twist, kind of eyeball that and say, okay, we need to cut that off a little bit. So we're gonna take our cutters and figure just about where we wanna cut it, which is about right there. Okay, we're gonna take this, put that on there like so. Okay, all on there. Now we can take that and turn it off. And we'll go ahead and get our clamp wrench. And we'll tighten that clamp there. And we'll move this clamp up and we'll tighten that clamp there. Now if you're wondering what the uh, clamp wrench looks like, it looks like this. You can find them at Lowe's. They sell them. They're about $70 to $80 for a set of pliers. This is how it works. You basically put it on the stainless steel clamp, get it close to the edge. You want a little bit of a gap beside it, and you squeeze. You can do the same thing right here, and you squeeze. All right, now on to the next step. Okay, so we have our stub pipe. This valve is going to be mounted in the system right there. We're gonna come out and we're gonna tee into this. Now the reason we have a valve here and a valve here is to isolate the filter. So if you get a filter, you'll notice that it comes with a blue wrench. So that's on and just let's say hypothetically that's on. In order to change the filter, you have to turn this valve off, turn this valve off. There's a little red button up here. We're gonna press that button. And what that button does is releases the pressure in this canister. If you don't press the button, then you can't unspin this filter housing. This wrench is designed strictly to take off the filter housing, not put it on. So we're gonna take this and unspin it, 
unspin it, drop it out, take the element out, put your new element in, take the blue wrench off, and with both hands, you tighten this as tight as you can strictly with your hands. Do not use the blue wrench. The reason being, there's an O-ring seal and that's all you need. Once you've tightened it with your hands, turn this valve back on, turn this valve back on, and you have changed your filter. Okay, so we have got our valve installed and our T in the line, so we are already set to go. So you leave that on, you leave that on, and water will fill that up once the power is on the system. And that's as simple as it is to install a water filter. Thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe if you liked what you saw. If uh, if this video was uh, informational and it helped you, I'm, I'm glad. That's kind of why I make the videos. And uh, if you need any help installing something yourself or, or any kind of system, please give me a comment and I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. Thank you for watching and God bless.